Hi guys, it's been raining for a while, so I haven't been down here for two or three days. But I'm here just to take the, the uh, syringes out, fill them up for the next the next space, the next time that I have that I have a moment. And what, what you can see here is that this one here that's been dropped down will have been broken, right? So this is what I was saying to you about the possums, how they climb on them and um, break off the nozzles. So there we go. That's a wasted one. Now here you can see this interesting thing. This is one that has been completely absorbed into the tree. But this one here hasn't been absorbed and even more than that, it's actually sucked the juice of the tree into itself. Um, I don't know if there's a way to avoid that. I'm still trying to find out if that's if there's some technique. These are bugweed plants, you can see, growing up there. They're woolly nightshade. And that's one year's growth. So they're an absolute menace. See, they're everywhere. And because, you know, they are kind of safe beneath the trees, that's where they tend to grow up and then compete for light and all sorts of stuff. They're also dangerous to cattle, I believe. Poisonous, I should say. 
to cattle. Anyway, looks like I have two more trees to do here. Not so bad. That's the easy one over there. That's just, oops, you can't really see it. This one is the last one of the of these ones with the um, so many syringes all around the tree branch. So interesting. When you when you fill it up, it doesn't fall out the end of the syringe, but when it's left in the rain fills up with rainwater on the other end. Doesn't go through because of the seal. Anyway, <sighs> human ingenuity is well engineered plastic syringes. Again. Hey Reg, what do you think about that? Bit windy? Do we need to go home? Come on, let's finish the job. These plants here that you see all growing around the bottom, there, there. There, 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 All of these are avocado trees grown from seeds that have just spontaneously aborted. So they're really, really, really easy to grow. It's kind of a pain. We don't want the wild ones. See, hundred small little avo trees. Everywhere you look, this is the main reason why we have to mow here, is to get rid of get rid of all these, this competition. What did you come to do? Check up how quickly I'm going. Okay, sorry to be slow. Let's get these ones out. Okay, come on then, going to the next ones. One last tree, Reggie, and then we're done. Come along. Whoops! <clears throat> no, didn't fall. Didn't fall. I think when I get back up to the shed, I will count them to see if I've got them all out. This is the easy tree. There's one like this in the whole orchard. It used to have two stems, but the thing with trees, these avo trees, is that if you plant them too deep, oh, if you plant them too deep, their, their branches, as they get bigger and bigger, the branches are underground. Oh well. Okay, well, that's it for today. Got all my empties. 
and all we need to do is walk up to the top. And this is something interesting. I don't know where these came from, but there's a random flock of guinea fowl foraging around under the abos today. So, yeah, like I say, no idea where they came from. Been seeing more and more of them wandering around the roads of New Zealand, so I don't know if people are buying them to eat bugs or... I didn't know you got guinea fowl over here, actually. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. It's really, really great of you to come to work with me today. And please remember to like and subscribe because, you know, you can't do this job without you. And, um, yeah, thanks a lot for being here and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.